I have the entire fishing spot to myself. Oh, it's going to be such a good day. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Always Scouting. Today, I'm happy to announce that I'm finally going fishing after eight weeks of not being able to go fishing. It's been pretty crazy and hectic. I still can't talk about what happened, but I'm really excited to be back out on the water today and hopefully I might catch something pretty cool. If you guys are new to this series, I am trying to catch 1,000 fish in order for me to become a master angler. If you've ever heard of the phrase, put in your thousand hours, put in your thousand catches. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm catching a thousand fish. In the last episode, this picture frame finally got filled that is the first fish i've ever caught by myself and that was a 14 no 13 and a half inch uh smallmouth bass and it weighed about two and a half three pounds so today i'm pretty excited because i have no idea what i'm going to catch i don't even have a game plan of where i'm going fishing today but i do have a ton of mystery tackle box lures and let me explain this is mystery tackle boxes juggernaut box i opened this one in the last gear review which was the last box i had and opened inside is every other box i had and i opened i mean every single other box there's there's quite a few in here okay there's yeah there's a lot so Opening up all of those boxes, you kind of accumulate a large supply of fishing lures. Yeah, a very large. Supply of fishing lures. What's even crazy is inside the box, I just have like fishing lures just hanging out. It smells like salt. Actually, it doesn't smell that bad. It kind of smells like peppermint, but with like black pepper actually pretty good smell so i'm definitely not going to use every single thing inside this box but what i am going to do is pick like three fishing lures from this box today and i'm going to take it out in the water and see if i catch anything if anything i might try a fishing lure first if anything i'll probably try one lure for like 30 minutes then i'll switch it up either or but i'm thinking if I can't catch anything with three lures that I bring out of this box, I don't know. Um, also, all of these boxes here, there's 10 of them right here. All of those are empty. Those were what was inside all of those mystery taco boxes. I actually have a special video planned just for this. Uh, I, I have those boxes. I'm gonna use them for a video coming up. The problem is now just picking out three lures that will intrigue me today. So let's go ahead and dig through this, see if I can't pull out three lures that I'm gonna be using today. Um, let's see. Okay, that's that has a hook in it already. I don't wanna do a lot of work today, so I think that's going in the pile over there. There's a lot of stuff in here. That might be good to use. Maybe. I got hooks. Okay, some some stuff in here is actually from stuff I bought from stores, like these small hooks, which actually I am gonna bring. I'm gonna bring these. I think there might be some fishing hooks out here, so if I stick myself in my hand. I think I need a better system for this. Okay, I've got one, two, and then I think there's a third one right here. Three different rattle bots right here. Which one do I want to take with me? Am I taking these? I don't really like treble hooks. They, they, they scare me. Take a couple bobbers with me. Got some weights. 
some minnows. That might be cool to use. Okay, I am really tempted to try this today. Maybe. All right, gonna bring these. Oh yeah, okay, I wanna bring this. This is something that I wanted to try. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this one. Okay, I think I have a pretty good selection of what I'm bringing with me. You know how most people have like tackle boxes and stuff like that? I don't have tackle boxes. I got a tackle backpack. It's super cool. It's also a mess, which means that there's probably like a fishing lure or two with a hook exposed inside this. And I'm really careful not to like reach my hand in there because I could get stabbed. What did I tell you guys? Wait, where's the hook? Oh yeah, no, that's... Here, can you guys see that? Oh yeah, no, <laughs> that would hurt a lot. Yeah, and uh, by the way, that rig is set up wrong too. That's terrifying. Just gonna leave you right there. I'm not gonna touch you. You're sharp. Okay, so bluegill bait like this in the bag. This one, and I have hooks for it. And then I have this one as well, which I'm just gonna be throwing the first one. And if I wanted to throw more, I have more hooks right there. So there you go. Some additional stuff, just some weights, bobber, and some hooks. If you guys go back and watch the last episode where me and Noah were fishing, my best friend, we went out and we found a orange goldfish, a giant one just swimming around. And uh, we literally were like, we might want to catch that one one day and uh, didn't have anything to catch it with. So I have a makeshift setup so that if I ever see that goldfish again, I'll be ready this time. So I'm using my very first fishing rod and that is a Zebco fishing rod right here. Push button, really simple, beginner rod. It's what worked for me. Snacks, keys, fishing license, driver's license, fishing pole, fishing bag, lures. All right, ready to go. I am the only car here, and I'm the only person here. I have the entire fishing spot. To myself. Oh, it's going to be such a good day. I really don't want to bring this, but I am because I didn't measure the first fish I ever caught. And, well, I did measure it, but it was more like an estimated measurement, kind of. So, I got this. I don't want to bring it because it doesn't fit in my backpack, but that's okay. All right. There is literally no one here. And like the water's right, I could walk right over there and go fishing, but there's a special spot that I personally like and it's down this path, but I, there's no one here. I literally have the world to myself. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, it's so nice outside. Like it's like, it is honestly crazy how nice it is outside. Wait till you guys see this. Boom, look at that lake. It is so beautiful. Oh. That is pretty. That is real, real pretty. I love my life. There is a massive seabed here which is really, really unfortunate. This was not here a couple of weeks ago. So all of this is new growth and it is completely overgrown. But the bass are gonna be in there. 
Might as well get used to it. I think I'm gonna start off with this. That's the best option for me. All right. Gonna set you guys up. Right down here. That's what I'm setting on the hook right now. Or that is the hook I'm setting on, the, the middle one. Gosh, it is such a beautiful day outside. It's not even funny. Oh. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and flatten the barb. I don't like fishing with barb hooks, and uh, there's a story with it. In the second episode, I accidentally killed a fish trying to remove the hook. So I try my best to flatten the hooks. I've been learning sun tricks and what I've been doing so far is just been tying a lot of double and triple and single overhand knots. I haven't lost a lure because of a knot. I've lost them because the line is broken. So that says anything. This should be recording now. It is. Yeah, we're recording. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. No, it's going to be very, very weedy. Well, first catch of the day, y'all, is uh, seagrass. This might actually be a pretty bad spot. I might need to move to a different spot. I think I'm gonna move to a different spot maybe. Or I'll just toss along here. We got some bait fish right here. Right down there. So if there's bait fish.
You look at that fish, he's trying to bite it. <laughs> oh my gosh, these fish. Like they're not big fish, but they're like super inner. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I think you guys can. You guys should be able to. I could probably catch me a bunch of small fish. Okay. This is like that like deep lake grass, so it's really tough grass. Okay. Alright, one more last try over here. If I can just find an opening where there's not a lot of like tough grass. I'd be fairly happy. Oh, there's a bluegill right there. Okay, let's pause for a second. I think I almost hooked myself. I am okay. Don't mind me, I'm sorry. I think it is now time for me to move to a different spot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move to a different spot. Packed everything up. My fishing lure is way above me, so it's nice and safe. That's another reason why I love uh, the backpack is I don't have to worry. I do have to worry, as I'm saying, that I'm running into a tree. I don't have to worry about like getting stuck on accident. I know it's inevitable, but if you can mitigate it, that's better than preventing. Well, yeah, I, you know what I mean. Okay, I'm at my second parking lot, 
where there's like two spots I can go to. I'm probably gonna hit one of them first and then I might go to the other one or I might start at the other one first and then go, or I might just hit one of them. Yeah, if this is the last time I go fishing this year, I at least wanna catch something. So I'm hoping I can catch something in one of these two spots. I don't know. I am getting kind of hungry and I only have so much time today to do stuff. So I got about another two hours of fishing I can do. Let's see if I can make it happen. Well, um, my original plan was to hit that spot right there and then go to the next spot that I'm going to currently because he wasn't a creepy guy, but there was a guy there that kind of just he got way too close to me and was just kind of asking a lot of weird questions. So I'm going over here. Yep. This spot is a lot better. Oh, wow. Hold on. Hey, bud. Normally it doesn't look like this. You should be able to cast out all the way over there and reel in without catching anything, but there's so much algae here. That's ah, crazy. I think that's a log. I just hiked about a mile to get here from the parking lot. And uh, I realized I forgot my GoPro in my car. Well, okay. Oh, uh. I did, in fact, catch something. No, it's not a fish. I caught my lure. Can you guys see that? The hook has, like, grabbed onto the tail of my lure. Am I really that bad of a fisherman? Well, it was inevitable. Again, I got my line stuck, and, uh... I'm not gonna pull that one free. So that means I need to let this line go. And I'm actually gonna call it a day here. Yeah. That sucks. Normally I probably wouldn't post this video because I didn't really catch anything and I don't really want to make a boring video, but I did promise you guys I was going to go fishing and today is the last day I can fish, which kind of sucks because I really wanted to catch a fish today, but unfortunately it didn't work. It didn't happen how I planned it to. Before anyone asks in the comments, um, I don't have any more fishing line. Yes, there is fishing line on the spool, but there's not a lot. I started with 120 meters and every single time I've lost the lure, I've just cut the line and then restrung another lure on. So I've been losing so much line that I actually really need to restring my fishing pole. And unfortunately, I don't have any more string. So I at least went out fishing, didn't catch anything, but for the one fish that I did catch this year, I'm personally really happy about it. It was a really nice bass. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's just something that, about that's really cool. If I had more fishing line and if I had more time, I would definitely keep fishing, but also, my phone is about to die and I need to get back home. So it sucks. I had a couple bites, but I think the lure that I was using was just way too big for the fish that were in the area. So that's something I'm gonna have to kind of judge for myself and try to figure out. 
normally I would leave you guys with like a Bible verse or a like spiritual quote. But today I'm just gonna pray. Dear we haven't Father God, thank you so much for this summer. Thank you for all the fun that we've had. Lord, I pray that everyone stays safe in the deer woods and the hunting woods this year. God, I just ask you to please be with all of us. Allow us, Father, to enjoy your creation and to enjoy the harvest. Thank you for what you provide and for when you don't provide. In Jesus' holy and precious name I speak. Amen. I'll leave you guys with that one. Have a good day, y'all.